Figured I'd be a little healthier this week. I always promote pizza. And after this, we only have two episodes left. It's fucking crazy. And this season's a little weird. I think it got canceled halfway through, which is why we only have six episodes. I'm curious to know if there exists any other episodes that are potentially like, I don't know, like lost media or just unaired shows. But as far as I was able to do research wise, I couldn't find any or any that were mentioned. So my guess is probably not. I feel like it'd be a little stupid for them to be shooting this on like a week to week basis. Who knows, right? Sphere has made it back to America and we're gonna be looking at the sugar mill. The mill was the site of a lot of pain, death, horrific accidents. There's so many deaths and accidents that occurred here. A number of young ladies were ritualistically killed and mutilated. But I wasn't kidding either, I'm gonna be fucking eating fucking salad this time. Tonight's contestants are Valeska, Joe, Jason, Selena, Ira, and Shamir. I'm very nervous that I might see something and I won't know how to handle it. Uh, maybe ghosts don't like me. Ghosts do exist. Not all are good, not all are bad, but I know there's something out there. Not to say I'm caught, but I'm gonna think. I have s such doubts. <laughs> Back to my previous episode about people who always say they're the best somewhere in the Hawaiian Islands. In a show first, immediately after removing their hoods, Joe decides he's gonna have no, no fucking chill when it comes to getting with Valeska. Boyfriend, girlfriend, married, not married, anyone got anything? What's your name again? Valeska. Very Boyfriend, nice girlfriend. I'm married. Oh my oh. god. Damn, girl. After Joe continues to be the most fucking annoying person on the show, we then get the mill's backstory. Well, the Key Sugar Mill uh, was built in 1876 and had an uh, unfortunate number of accidents, hauntings. You know, they built this entire Key Sugar Mill on sacred ground. I had the peripheral vision. I saw this like thing floating, turned and looked, and it was a head floating. And it was like level, like a person, but there was no body. They are corrupting a very sacred ground, and you can't do that without consequence. Carla made out like this, like a bandit. Like they couldn't get the Warrens back. What a missed opportunity. They got fucking discount Lorraine Warren here. And lucky for us, everyone's favorite awkward bro is the first one out for the dare. Oh, whoa, where are my beads, dog? Beat me. <coughs> Alright, any words, man? Yeah. I love America. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Joe seems like that asshole when you go to the gym with your girlfriend. He comes up and intentionally lifts more weight than you, and then, like, calls you out in front of your girlfriend to try to look cool, and then invites you to his fucking yoga class, like, a week later. It's weirdly specific. Hey, I mean, if she's willing to go with... that, she gets what's coming to her, I guess. Once Joe reaches the area for his dare, in another series first, the producers of Fira must have heard everyone's complaints about Joe, and they decided to just hang him. Invoke the spirit of the hanging lady by reenacting her death. Now grab the hook on the chain hanging from the ceiling. Oh good, they're gonna hang the asshole. Attach the hook to the hole on the back of your harness behind your neck. Confirm once the hook is attached to your harness. Fuck, that's going so slow. I feel like that would take fucking forever. I'm not gonna lie though, it'd be pretty fun. It's like, whee! <laughs> All right, it's a good time I didn't hear that. Oh, radio silence, man. Shut the fuck up. In the past shows, Just how many times have people quit? Usually, like, is there usually the average each episode? Two. Have they had an episode where everyone stuck it out? No. Well, really? we can do that. Dude, let's be the first. I'm down. I don't care how scared I get, I'm not gonna. The group let Joe hang out for a bit while Valeska must head down to the storage room for her dare. Okay, I'm outside. Locate the path that leads straight out in front of you. <gasps> oh my god, no, I can't. Oh, <laughs> Which way do I go now? <laughs> no way. Unfortunately, she makes it about 15 feet out before she heads back in. It's just a face, I didn't see a body. Someone give her a hug. And unfortunately, Valeska does not make it. Let's be the first ones to make it. After roughly an hour and a half, Joe is instructed that he has completed his dare and must lower himself and head back to the safe. Oh, fuck. 
I freaked myself out there for a second. I looked at the chain at the bottom, but someone was moving. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, guys, you got work to do. Let's go. Fan of the show, Shamir, has second doubts about heading out on her dare. However, after receiving the shells of Joe, she finds the strength to continue on. You're standing outside the safe house door. Locate the path that leads straight out in front mm -mm. of you. I think I want to go home. Before turning right back around. After her and Jason have a heart to heart, she heads out towards the storage room. Unfortunately, after getting lost in the cornfield, she ends up heading back and aborts the dare. Have they had an episode oh, where everyone oh, stuck it out? No. Well, really? we can do that. Dude, I'm talking all this shit, but I'd probably be fucking scared too, man. I probably would have been the first one to left. Luckily for the rest of the contestants, this is the end of night one. At the start of night two, Ira heads out to hopefully complete the storage room dare. After making it to the storage room, Ira is instructed to go into radio silence and wait for further communication. Joe continues to be the most self-aware contestant on the show. The only ghost that's here is the ghost that used to be this turtle. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, get her walkie-talkie. <coughs> yep, I got, got it. it right here. Alright, babe. No, can you just not talk to me? Just do it, because I don't want you to talk to me. Oh, thanks. Hey. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I helped you through a lot of <laughs> Be careful. Keep checking shut up, out. shut up. Kyla, hey, tell me what to do. Joe's just so fucking annoying. When she reaches the elevator, one of my personal fears happens, where the elevator just gets stuck in between cement. Okay, um, I'm scared right now because... I just opened the door and uh, I'm, this is just like a brick wall. I haven't gone down far enough. I'm way, way underground. Trapped for 37 minutes? Jesus. Luckily for her, the elevator does decide to start randomly moving and she continues the dare. Psychics believe that there are powerful remnants tying these workers to this tunnel and this earthly plane in the form of objects and tools that are still in the water. Take off your vest completely. You may then remove as much of your clothing as you feel comfortable swimming in. <laughs> I can't look. It's gonna be on TV. I cannot wait to see that. Bad touch Joe over there is like, oh, yeah. They're still here, and they're trying to make others suffer for what happened to them. I give this episode this. It's like an A for creativity. I mean... They're straight up playing fucking Tomb Raider in this episode. We cut back to Ira, who's informed that his dare is complete and he may head back to the safe house. We then cut back to Selena, who's been out of contact for 72 minutes. Selena! Selena, come back! Oh my god. I'm okay, I'm out! Dry yourself off, okay? Get your beautiful, beautiful self back to the safe house. Naked. Naked. Bad touch Joe strikes again. Next up is Jason heading over to the cane grinder. Slide down through the flats and into the cane grinder. You should be in the grinder box up to your knees. I am now touching. I'm up to my knees. Tell me where to go next. If I hear one more noise like that, I swear to God, I'm going to quit. Stop. 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 Bring what you got. That's what you get for talking shit to the ghost. Uh, that was freaky. Wow. Ah! Yo, th this, this conveyor belt just slipped. Now that was scary. And in a true test of faith, he must stick his feet into the cane grinder and then turn the cane grinder on. I'm about to turn on the cane grinder, okay? I just did it. Nothing happened. Uh, I pressed the button a, a lot and nothing happened. That's good. That's the idea. You've done your dare. You now, now may return to the safe house. Wow! And luckily for the group, this was the final dare. I do know there were some definite things that I think happened in there that I can't really explain. And it got me spooked a few times here and there. I was scared, I heard stuff, I felt stuff. I realized that I have a limit. I realized that I can push myself right, beyond that so limit. that was episode four from season two. And it was pretty good. Uh, fucking bad touch Joe over there, like, God. He's that guy that literally never shuts the fuck up. He also just wanted to touch everybody in the creep. Really, this episode, 
without Joe, it, I don't think it would have been as memorable, honestly. Like, the atmosphere on this one wasn't too bad. Without fucking creepy touch Joe over there, or bad touch Joe, I don't think it would have been nearly as interesting to watch because I, I could just see everybody getting so fucking tired with him. Especially when the one girl was like, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. I was just fucking laughing my ass off. So. Alright, we got two episodes left. Make sure to keep things light and rebellious, and I'll see you guys next week.